Hi everybody, this is a video of the low pressure sodium bulb, the high pressure sodium bulb, the high pressure mercury bulb and the metal halide bulb. As you can see, these are these four bulbs, them industrial use light bulbs, all them four plugged into the extension, ready to fire up in one second or two everybody. So, as you can see, this is the 55 watt low pressure sodium bulb, the 250 watt high pressure sodium bulb, the 250 watt high pressure mercury bulb and the 70 watt metal halide bulb. And it's quite tubular. Both of these are quite tubular and these are white frosted elliptical. So as you can see, um, this is quite tall, that low pressure sodium bulb, and that 70 watt metal halide bulb is quite small. Looks a bit silvery, we'll look at it in the distance. If I hold it closer, it's clear, but that's just because of me washing behind it. So, these are all these four industrial used light bulbs, and they're ready to fire up right now, everybody. So, uh, ready to switch off this, uh, this big table lamp now, everybody. That's it, it's gone out now, so onto the four light bulbs, everybody. Ready everybody? After three. One, two, three. Wow! As you can see, uh, all these bulbs are fully fired up and as you can see, this is the low pressure sodium bulb shining reddish pink and the high pressure sodium bulb shining a bit more more like a yogurty lilac colour and as you can see, the mercury bulb shining very reddish pink it's changing into a yogurty colour and this uh, metal halide bulb it's shining very twinkly and everything so I thought I'd do four of them together, so yeah, and as you can see, it's very hard to see because I have to put, hold my camera back, so as you can see, um, the metal halide bulb starts to shine a very twinkly green colour, yeah, and the low pressure sodium bulb is shining very reddish pink, but it looks very dim, but the, the high pressure sodium one starting to change more orangey yellow, yeah, and um, this uh, mercury bulb, that's changing more like a very white colour, and the, the metal halide bulb shines very bluish green, yeah. But as you can hear, it's the this uh, mercury lamp is making more of a loud humming noise, and it says caution hot, and it says on it warning safety earth do not disconnect. So and I am right, and as you can see, you can see that uh, that uh, neon light where well, it's connected to the switched on the mercury light. And um, it's really twitching, but for my eyes, it's gone. It's very still, but I don't know why. But it must be the, just the camera. But as you can see, this uh, low-pressure sodium bulb looks very, very striggly and everything. It's very shining, very orangey around the electrofilaments. Yeah, and on the high-pressure sodium bulb, it's shining more orangey and everything. And look at the metal halide bulb now, looks like that's fully warmed up. And that warms up more easily because it's 70 watts, but the, the high pressure sodium bulb's warmed up more quickly. But it's just the sodium one now to wait to fully to get its full brightness. So, and as you can see, and it's got this um it's got this little support hook to hold the sodium bulb in place, to hold it nice and tightly. So as you can see now we're getting more brighter watts. We're getting more bright watts of light from the high from the metal halide bulb. It looks like a very bright twinkling star. Yeah. So sorry I have to burp. But it's looking very like a twinkling star on camera, but from my eyes it's shining more more um cool white. Well it's more twinkly. That's a cool white one. That one is not a daylight one. It's just a normal cool white one. So, and as you can see, uh, it looks like the high pressure mercury bulbs reached its full brightness and everything. Yeah, so, and uh, the, the high pressure sodium bulb has now, so, that makes, that that's making more of a, a humming noise. But as you can see, from this uh, low pressure sodium bulb, it's starting to change orange, but the rest of it's still reddish pink. Yeah, but you can see from my eyes, you can see around the, the electrofilaments, you can see all that that fieriness around the, the electrode spiral filaments, the very spiral, the tornadic. But as you can see on the heat reflecting shield, you see little star drops on it, like the stars. Yeah. So, and on the, on the high pressure sodium one, it says on it, life connections enclosed, isolate supply before opening or removing bulb. Caution, hot. Electrical safety test, this University of Sheffield, depth code, Adam 6, next due to uh, 2019 but it hasn't told me the actual date though but let's take another good look at this uh, high pressure this low pressure sodium bulb well socks bulb it's shining very um 
it's starting to turn more yellow and everything and what have you. Yeah, but it's still, well, it's starting to look more orangey on the camera. Yeah, there's a look all around. Uh, the 250 watt mercury bulb and the 70 watt metal halide. It's shining very, um, it's shining very twinkling white. Yeah. Wow, I'm so glad. I thought to do a mixture of all these good bulbs. And from my eyes, it's changing more mixed colours. We're getting more, um, well, two, the two 250s are 500. If I add 35, that makes it 535. That add 70. Well, uh, that would make, um, uh, I don't know. What, well, let's forget that. Let's forget them doing massing. But I'll just uh, look at the lights and everything. But it's very twinkly and everything and what have you. Yeah. So and as you can see right on the on the very side, on top of that 55 watt socks bulb, you can see a bit of that uh, mercury drops, mercury drops inside it. Yeah. But but that's what you say if you have it pointed upwards. But it's working perfectly well like so. So and as you can see and everything. So it's very bright so these two are making 500 watts and that's it and if i add um, that make 578 so so that will make a uh, 605 watts of light i hope i'm right but anyway uh enough with that adding math thing but i just you can see all my bananas behind and me fruit and everything so so and as you can see it's uh i'll just keep my eye on the the socks bulb because it's Looks like it's reached its full brightness and everything, yeah. So, so we've got big bright lights. So let's have a look at it through this way and everything. You see the uh, tubular metal halide bulb and the mercury bulb, Sylvania and Osram, yeah. So, and and then the finally one, the Philips one, the the tubular one, uh, the socks bulb. That's what I say. But as you can see now, it's like they've all reached the full brightness. It was just the low pressure sodium one now to reach its full brightness. It looks like it has now, so from my eyes and everything. It's very it's very, very interesting how these lamps work. And they're fully ballasted, or well the fittings are fully ballasted. And these lamps are all built from scratch, but except except uh, the high pressure sodium one that's in this fitting. The fitting itself, well the fitting is ballasted, but it was already built before I bought this fitting, so I didn't have to make it from scratch and everything. So, anyway, guys, as you can see, we start 70 watt metal halide, the 250 watt high pre high pressure mercury, and the 250 watt high pressure sodium, and the 55 watt low pressure sodium. So we've got mixed colours now, like mandarin colour, uh, yellow, yogurty white, and uh, cool white from metal halide, and everything. We'll take a last look at this uh, socks bulb and as you can see it has reached its full brightness at 55 watts it's quite tall though i thought i'd get to do a big tall one but on the last video i did the 35 watt one with the high pressure the 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb and everything so and as you can see now all them bulbs have reached their full brightness and everything it's very nice and bright and everything everybody so so as you can see now, when I look at when I hold the camera back and everything, hold on a sec, we just hold it back that way. So as you can see now, the sodium, the low pressure sodium bulb and the high pressure sodium bulb and the high pressure mercury bulb and the metal halide bulb, all them four have reached their full brightness set and everything. It's lit my house, my room about 605 watts bright and everything. Yeah. So and as you can see, and every, well. Not really 605 watts. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. But anyway, it's all reached the full brightness and everything. So I don't know what I was thinking of. But as you can see now, they have reached the full brightness and everything. So anyway, guys, I'm going to um, turn off this uh, the big lamps now. So that's it now. And as you can see, uh, the, the, the high pressure sodium bulb is still glowing. But look from that, it looks like the metal halide bulb's still glowing and everything. But that's fading away now, so we'll take a good look at this uh, high pressure sodium bulb because it's still lighting a very reddish, fiery colour. Yeah, and it's giving me a bit of red glare in my eyes when I look at it now. It's just all the stars in my eyes, but not to worry, they'll they'll all fade away and everything. But as you can see, they're starting to all it's starting to fade away now. 
So the rest of others have all fully gone off, but it's just the high pressure sodium one now to to fully go out and everything. Yep, yeah, it has now. It's fully faded away now, like so. So anyway, guys, I'm going to turn this big lamp back on now. So right, that's it now. The the big lamp's back on now. So right, everybody, this is the video of the the low pressure sodium bulb, the the high pressure sodium bulb, the high pressure mercury bulb and the metal halide bulb everybody so i hope you all enjoyed this video so please comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching everybody